The Udana, section 4.8, Sundari. Thus have I heard. At one time, the Lord was staying near Savati in the Jeta wood at Anathapindika's monastery. At that time, the Lord was respected, revered, honored, venerated, and given homage, and was one who obtained the requisites of robes, alms food, lodgings, and medicines. And the order of bhikkhus was also respected, but the wanderers of other sects were not respected, revered, honored, venerated, and given homage, and they did not obtain the requisites of robes, alms food, lodgings, and medicines. Then those wanderers of other sects, unable to tolerate the respect shown towards the Lord and the order of bhikkhus, approached Sundari, the woman wanderer, and said, Sister, will you do something useful for your kinsmen? What can I do, masters? What am I able to do? I would sacrifice even my life for the sake of my kinsmen. Then, sister, go often to the Jeta wood. Very well, masters, Sundari the woman wanderer replied. And she went often to the Jeta wood. Then, when those wanderers knew that Sundari, the woman wanderer, had been seen by many people going often to the Jeta wood, they murdered her and buried her there, in a hole dug in a ditch of the Jeta wood. Then they went to King Pasenadi of Kosala and said, Great King, Sundari, the woman wanderer, cannot be found. Where do you suspect she is? In the Jeta wood, Great King. Then search the Jeta wood. On searching the Jeta wood, those wanderers dug up the body from the hole in the ditch where it had been buried, and putting it on a litter had it taken to Savati, going from street to street and from crossroad to crossroad. They aroused people's indignation by saying, See, masters, the work of the followers of the Sakyan son? These recluses, the followers of the Sakyan son, are shameless, immoral, of bad conduct, liars, not livers of the holy life. They claim that they live by Dhamma, that they lead a balanced life, that they live the holy life, that they are speakers of truth, that they are virtuous and of good conduct, but they have no status as recluses. They have no status as Brahmins. Their recluse status is destroyed. Their Brahmin status is destroyed. Where is their recluse status? Where is their Brahmin status? They have lost their recluse status. They have lost their Brahmin status. How can a man, having taken his manly pleasure, murder a woman? Because of this, when people saw bhikkhus in Savati, they reviled, abused, provoked, and annoyed them with insults and harsh words, saying, these recluses, the followers of the Sakyan son, are shameless, immoral, of bad conduct. How can a man, having taken his manly pleasure, murder a woman? Then, a number of bhikkhus, having dressed in the forenoon and taken their bowls and outer cloaks, entered Savati for alms food. Having walked in Savati for alms food and returned after the meal, they approached the Lord, prostrated themselves, sat down to one side and said, At present, revered sir, when people see bhikkhus in Savati, they revile, abuse, provoke, and annoy them with insults and harsh words. This commotion, bhikkhus, will not continue long. It will continue for only seven days, and after seven days it will disappear. So, because when people revile you, abuse, provoke, and annoy you with insults and harsh words, you should respond with this verse. The false accuser goes to hell, and also one who denies the deed he did. Both these become equal hereafter, persons of base actions in the world beyond. So those bhikkhus learn this verse in the Lord's presence. And when those people, on seeing bhikkhus, reviled them, they responded with the verse. Then those people thought, 
these recluses, the followers of the Sakyan son, did not do it. It was not done by them. These recluses, the followers of the Sakyan son, are asserting their innocence. And the commotion did not continue for long. The commotion continued for only seven days, and after seven days it disappeared. Then a number of bhikkhus approached the Lord, prostrated themselves, sat down to one side and said, It is wonderful, revered sir, it is marvelous, revered sir. How well was this foretold by the Lord? This commotion, bhikkhus, will not continue for long. After seven days it will disappear. Revered sir, that commotion has disappeared. Then, on realizing its significance, the Lord uttered on that occasion this inspired utterance. Uncontrolled people pierce one with words as they pierce a battle elephant with arrows. On hearing harsh words being uttered to him, a bhikkhu should endure them without hate.